Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and on today's menu, we will be cooking boneless pork shoulders, basically boneless ribs, barbecue ribs, and some mac and cheese. I've been craving barbecue ribs all week and my mac and cheese. So, y'all seen me make my mac and cheese a million times, but today, we're gonna be making it again. I'll be showing you guys my um, quick and easy version of my mac and cheese. Tastes so good, like it took you all day to prep, but no. All right, so over here, let me show you guys. And hopefully you guys seen the meal prep uh, video to this meal. I'll show you guys how I prep my meal and everything, so. And as you guys can see, giving you guys a nice close-up look at those ribs. Oh, they're the boneless ones. I cut them up into nice thick chunks. I've got my pan, I did put a little oil down. I've got my water over there. I'm um, getting ready to boil my noodles. Let me show you guys what noodles I'm using today. I'll be using the Mueller corkscrew noodles. Yes, the corkscrews. I like using these sometimes for my mac and cheese. And cut my fan on back there. And today I'll be using Sweet Baby Ray's hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. I love Sweet Baby Ray's. Gotta love Sweet Baby Ray's. So, in the meantime, let's get our meat in here. I'm using my Gotham pan today because this, this Gotham pan gets really hot. Gotham stuff gets really, really hot. So I like using this pan, especially for such a thick uh, pork, you know, thick type of meat. So that's another reason why I'm using my Gotham. So as you guys can see, I just cut them into little, little chunks of pork. Little pieces. Well, not little, but. Some are smaller than others. And I gotta squeeze all this on here. I got a whole lot of pork. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'll uh, probably bake this for about, I'm gonna say about, for all of it, about an hour. Cause it is a lot of meat and it is thick. So, let me get this dumped out. Hold on y'all. We just gonna dump that out. We got time for that. All right. So, let's get it broken up. Got my water back there boiling for those noodles. I put a little salt in my um, water back there. So we just gonna get this separated real quick. Definitely gonna have to squeeze this on here. This is a lot of pork. But you know, as it cooks, it's gonna shrink up anyway. So, gotta get it packed on this tray easy peasy getting it all packed down on here flatten it all out Ooh, it is a lot of meat but we should be fine squeeze everybody on here yep do this quick with y'all Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Everybody is good. Let me see. I got a couple more pieces I need to get. Okay. Good, good, good. Some more pieces over here in the corner. Okay. All right. I want to make sure I ain't got no meat sitting on top of no meat. So. All right, so we got everybody all squeezed on our pan. I know it looks like a lot, but as it's cooked, it will all shrink down anyway. Let me wash my hands real quick. Yeah, make sure you guys go check out my meal prep video for this meal. I've started doing, um, recording my meal prep. What is all of that about? Okay. All right, y'all hold on. Okay, all right, so y'all see I got my meat uh, here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the oven. And then, of course, my noodles are getting ready to boil. And I'll be back to show y'all how I put together my mac and cheese. Okay, guys, let me show y'all my quick mac and cheese. It tastes delicious. Like, my family always wants me to bring the mac and cheese. I'm gonna show y'all my quick version. It is quick, but don't get that twisted. 
just because I'm showing you the quick way, it's still delicious. Yes. All right. So, all right. So y'all know I got my bowl here. All right. Got my bowl here. Got my butter. Uh, got some milk, some leftover milk. So I just kind of put it in this cup and I have four bags of the shredded Sargento cheese. I have three cheddar and one sharp cheddar. Uh, however you want to do your cheese. That's your business. You know, I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing. So, and I got my dish here ready to uh, put my mac and cheese in once I get it all together. Give me one second. I forgot to spray this. This is my Pioneer Woman dish. I have several of these. I love the Pioneer Woman dishes. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees already. Or already, already. Just gonna spray my pan. Cause I did forget to do that. So that mac and cheese isn't sticking to my pan and making it hard for me to clean up. So let me get this oil real quick. And I'll show y'all my quick mac and cheese. Quick, 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 quick. All right, okay, all right, we got that all nicely oiled. Okay, okay. Got my dish all oily. Just a little oil. I just put a little oil in and I just kind of spread it around with my hands. Okay, let me get my noodles in here. And you know, um, most people use the elbow noodles. I use the elbow noodles. Of course, y'all have seen me uh, make my mac and cheese with the elbow noodles. Uh, but I also like using the corkscrew noodles. It makes like a pretty mac and cheese. I mean, does still noodles? It don't matter. Okay, so all right, gonna get these noodles loosened up here, nice and hot, fresh out the pot, freshly drained. I like working with hot noodles, you know. Let me see if I can zoom y'all in, give y'all a better look at how I get that mac and cheese together. Okay, yep. Okay, good. You guys can see better. All right. Got my noodles in there. Go ahead and put about a, about a, I guess that's like, what, a spoon of butter? Y'all know how it is. I'm going to try my best to give y'all measurements. Okay, so we got spoon of butter here. Just a spoon of butter. All right. Now the noodles are hot, so they are going to melt their, they are going to melt that butter for me. Just kind of, you know, while that butter is melting, let me get my salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I'll put some ground pepper in here. Not much. I would say about a tablespoon of tablespoon of pepper and tablespoon of salt not too much just a tablespoon salt and pepper give us some flavor just showing you my quick version and I'm telling y'all my quick version tastes as good as my other versions and it's funny because most of the time I'm cooking I'm cooking this quick version I'm doing the quick version most of the time so all right, get that all mixed up. Make sure our butter is nicely melted. All our noodles are coated. Yep, our butter's all melted. I'm gonna add about a cup of milk. I'm gonna do a cup of milk. I don't add my eggs yet because this is too hot. This is too hot and you already know if you add these eggs to this hot milk and these hot noodles, you already know you're gonna get scrambled eggs. You already know. Trust me, been there and done that in the beginning when I was learning how to make mac and cheese. That was definitely one of the mistakes I made. You know, you live and you learn. All right, uh, I just checked on that pork. It is looking delicious. It's smelling good, the whole house smells good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and I did set my timer for an hour on that pork, an hour, 350, 350 for an hour. All right, and I'm just gonna stick that mac and cheese right in there with the pork while it's cooking. See, you putting everything in the oven, everything cooking at the same time. All right, so I like to make sure all my noodles get coated with the milk. And I like to check at the bottom, see how much milk I got. I got a little, just a little pool of, of milk down there, which is fine, because we got too much stuff to add. All right, so let's go ahead. That milk cools things off, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead 
I'm gonna add my two eggs. Two large, two eggs, whatever you got. Large, small, it don't matter. Two eggs. Just add your two eggs. Eggs is what holds my mac and cheese together. Some people use eggs, some people don't. I use eggs, I like to use eggs. Kinda helps uh, your mac and cheese, you know, stay together. And it's not falling apart. You know, unless you want that creamy mac, but however, I always add two eggs. Okay, so now that I've got my eggs mixed in a little bit, I'm gonna add my cheese. All right, mild cheddar cheese, I'm adding one bag. I'm adding that second mild cheddar cheese. Y'all know my mac and cheese, I like it cheesy. Adding that sharp cheddar. I know it looks like a lot of cheese, but y'all know, come on, we all know, cheese is gonna melt down. It's gonna melt down. So that's three bags. I put the three bags in there with the noodles, and then that last bag, I'll put across the top. And the reason I like throwing one bag of sharp in, because that sharp cheddar cheese has that sharp taste. Y'all know what I mean. Gives your mac and cheese that, you know, that mmm, that ooh, that tastes good, you know? I don't always use the sharp. Every now and then I'll, do the, I'll use the sharp. Okay, we get this all mixed up. And of course, I've added three things of cheese. So it's, my mac and cheese has gotten a little dry. So we'll add another. Uh, I just did a half a cup, just half a cup of milk. Yeah, get this all mixed in real good. And then I'll see how much milk I need to add, if I need to add any more. If I do, I'll add the rest of that milk. Yeah, I'm gonna add the rest of that milk. So that makes two cups of milk that we've added. Yeah. So two cups of milk I needed. It's like that when you add that cheese, and that cheese and everything just absorbs the milk. So, but you don't want it too milky. You don't want that. So, mixing this real good. Easy, it's so easy guys, it's so easy. And I'm telling you, my family, they always want me to make the mac and cheese. And y'all see, this is easy. Easy mac and cheese. Make it for your family, your friends, yourself, and it will be a hit. Some people overthink the mac and cheese. Don't overthink it. Sometimes good things are just simple. And people think, oh, you did so much, but no. My quick mac and cheese is delicious. I love it. I was craving it. I said, oh, I gotta make my mac and cheese. Make sure we get it mixed in real good. Make sure we ain't got no milk sitting to the bottom. Perfect. Two cups of milk is what we added. It is nice and cheesy. That cheese is nicely blended. Gotta make sure that cheese is nicely blended. Give y'all a close up look of that mac and cheese. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. So we got it all ready. Just wanted to come and do a little quick, you know, video showing y'all. A little quick insert here how I make my quick mac and cheese. It's quick and easy. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the um, tray, get it in my pan, put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I, I always cook it for about 30 minutes. That's all I need, 30 minutes. Because that oven is preheated. So I throw that mac and cheese in for 30 minutes. That's all it needs. And plus this pan, you know, well not a pan, but the uh, Pioneer Woman dish. Um, this glass uh, pan here cooks it really, really fast. So, 30 minutes in the oven, 350 degrees, guys. Uh, yeah, I will be back to show y'all the grand finale. No, actually, I'll be back to show y'all that pork because I got to put the barbecue sauce on that pork and then get it back in the oven. So, I'll be back, y'all. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got our pork out of the oven after an hour, so it is nice and roasted, as you guys can see. Let me bring you guys in, so you can have a close look as to what I'm doing. That pork looks delicious. All right, and of course, I'm just gonna take my fork and just kinda, you know, pull it apart, because you know, it's kinda stuck together. And I think I should taste a piece. Let me find a piece to taste. Oh, there's, there's a piece right there for me. Oh my God, yeah, it's so good. It's so juicy. Mm, 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 mm. You can eat it just like this. By itself with some rice or something. Or we can just eat it like this with the mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. 
so good. But that barbecue sauce, oh yeah. That barbecue sauce, I'll make it do what it do. So, I'm just pulling it apart, you know, as it cooked, it kind of stuck together. So, alright, so we got it all separated. Look at mm, mm, mm. Looks delicious. Y'all, I'll be right back. My battery trying to die. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. My battery went dead, but anyway, we got a fresh battery, so let's go. All right, so I got my pork pulled apart. Um, you guys saw that when I put my pork apart and my sweet baby rays, hickory brown sugar. Oh, gotta love the sweet, you know, the sweetness to a barbecue sauce. So I'll go ahead and squeeze it all across the top of my meat. I love Sweet Baby Rays. Like, they make one of the best products, in my opinion. Just gonna squeeze this. I like the fact that they have that little hole, you know, so you just squeeze it out. I like that. Makes it so easy for you. Just squeeze it on your meat like that. You ain't gotta get all messy and get involved. Just put it across the top like that. Ooh wee. And I put, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. And that barbecue sauce is just going to melt down into that meat and make it even more tender, more juicy. Oh, yeah. I'm using the entire thing on here. Yep. Using all my stuff I paid for. Yep. Long sweet baby rays. Because this is a lot of pork. So, I knew I was going to use this entire bottle. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh-wee. Let's not forget those corners. Oh, God. If y'all could smell this sweetness of this barbecue sauce. I love a sweet barbecue sauce. All right. Y'all know I get all my stuff I pay for. All right. Okay. So, okay, girl. Okay, girl. All right. They still feel a little heavy. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we got all our stuff. Okay, that mac and cheese is in the oven, looking delicious. Y'all see, I got that sweet baby rays. I'm gonna take y'all in, of course. Ooh wee! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven for 15 minutes. That mac and cheese should be ready to come out in the next 15 minutes as well. And I will be back, y'all, with the grand finale. Okay guys, I just pulled everything out of the oven. Everything looks and smells delicious. I'm so ready to eat. So ready to eat. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Let me take y'all over to the Mac. Caroni and cheese. Oh yes. Mm, 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 mm. That macaroni and cheese. Oh, hits right every time. Every time, mm, mm, mm. taking y'all in. Mm, 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 mm. Well, let me bring y'all out. Y'all get a good look at that mac and cheese right there. Take y'all in so y'all can see it real good. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Take y'all back in, back into the mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Mm. Take y'all in, really, 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 really. Take y'all in. Yep. Yep. Back over to the barbecue ribs. All right. Well, you see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to go in the description box, guys. Click on my second channel. Go show me some love and support over there, please and thank you. All right, guys. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. Thanks, guys. Bye.